We want to welcome you to Art Time. My name is Rebecca. And I'm Karina. And today we're going to do birch tree string art. Rebecca, what will we need for this craft? Well, you will need your own size canvases. We are going to use these canvases. You will also need some yarn. And you want a kind of thicker yarn for this one. You'll want some masking tape, some cotton balls, some clothespins, paint, and some paper to put down underneath you while you're doing your art project. Let's begin. We cut our string for us, and now we need to, um, on the back of your canvas, you're going to lay down a little bit, like, just a little bit on the end, um, see like that, and then Rebecca is going to tape it on for me. And make sure it's nice and secure because you're going to wrap, now you're going to wrap your yarn around your canvas. Alright, so you can do this however you choose, if you want your um, rope to be really close to each other or far apart. This is, um, what we're doing right now is we're making the trees in our art piece. So why don't you take time, pause the video, and get your yarn taped to your canvas and be creative in how you want to make your trees wrapped around your canvas. Now once you're all done um, wrapping it around, you need to take another piece of tape to tape down on the other side. So I got my tape and this is, you want to make sure it's a secure again so that way it doesn't move around. So right now, this is what mine look like. What does yours look like? This is the back of mine mm -hmm. and the front of mine. All right, what's the next step? The next step is you want to grab your clothespins and your cotton ball. And these are going to be our paintbrushes for today. How fun. Yeah. I know. So you want to clip your paint or your cotton ball to your clothespin. And look at that. A nice little paintbrush. See, we have picked our paints. Your teacher may want to pick and give you other colors to use today. This, these are the colors that we're going to use. And the first color that you are going to dip your paintbrush in is blue. Because we're going to make the sky. So should we start with our first one? Yep. First color, blue. And how we will do this is you will take, take it and you just dab it all the way across. And it, it's okay if you go down just a little bit on one side and to grab a little bit more, remember to do as little paint as possible because you can always go back and add more paint. So I have my yellow paint, and once again, you're going to go across your canvas. And it even makes like a little bit of a green. Yeah. The next color you're going to do is red. The last color that you're going to do on the very bottom, so I've done blue, yellow, I mixed red and yellow to make orange, and then I used red, and now our last color is going to be green for the grass. Once you are done with the front of your canvas, we're going to wait until it dries to cut the string. So 
So once the canvas is all dry, now you are gonna cut off the string and make sure you are careful with the scissors to not mess up with your drawing too much. With Karina's, as you can see, you can see that this is the beginning of her birch trees. The next step in making our birch trees, and we're gonna use Karina's canvas, is this is where you pick up your permanent marker. With the permanent marker, we're going to make little lines all the way up your birch tree because birch trees are white with, with dark markings all over them. Mm -hmm. So grab your permanent marker, Karina, do you want to hold it for a sec and then sure. we'll show how you start this. You start from the bottom and it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're doing is just marking your birch trees. Now it's your turn. And this is how we get our birch tree string art. What does yours look like? You should go around the room and have everyone hold up their art. Thanks for joining us for Art Time. I'm Karina. And I'm Rebecca. And we hope you have a great day.